Welcome back. The American Heart Association's Go Red for Women celebration is happening this week. And right now we're joined by the events, uh, by the, one of the events speakers here, Shamika Campbell. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. Your story is very inspiring. And I want to give you the time to tell us a little bit about your journey with heart failure. Sure. When I was just 24 years old, I received my diagnosis of heart disease. My heart function slowly declined over the years. And in 2016, I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure, which ultimately led to me receiving an implantable cardiac device in 2018. It's very powerful. And Shamika, as uh, the event's designee, what do you hope that women learn from your experience or, or gain, I should say, from what you have to say? Absolutely. I hope women gain a sense of knowledge, knowing that no one is exempt from it, regardless of your age, and to also give your chance to self at life, because ultimately heart disease is what gave me more a chance at living life. Yeah, absolutely. And look, during the pandemic, as many of us were thinking, if you if you were a business owner, you had that on your mind with the pandemic and you are a business owner here in Milwaukee, but you were also thinking about your health. So I can't even imagine how, you know, these last two years and still living through the pandemic, how you've been feeling through all that. Um, it's It's been tough, but I've been able to, I was able to uh, actually thrive through it. Yeah, absolutely. And really quickly, just a quick fact for our viewers this morning, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of women. It claims more lives than all cancers combined. What are some things that women can look for? Some perhaps symptoms, some conversations that they can be having with their doctors? Sure. Some conversations that they can have with doctors are having those, those annual checks, normal heart checks, um, as well as warning signs, chest pains. Don't ignore those. Rapid heartbeat. We shouldn't ignore those either. Have all those things checked out. What are you most excited for for tomorrow's event? I'm excited to just share my journey and my experience with heart disease. Yeah, absolutely. And you really are an inspiration to all women out there. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Let's go ahead and pull up some more information. The American Heart Association's Go Red for Women celebration is set for this Thursday at 5 p.m. It is being held at the Pfister Hotel downtown, a very important cause, of course, going red for women.